All right, at this time we're going to begin our special called meeting. I'm called the meeting to order. We'll have our a moment of silent prayer for our invocation to be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. If you would, please stand with me. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. All right, next order of business is the adoption of the agenda. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. I'll second the motion. Are there any questions? Those in favor, aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. Next is the consent agenda. Is there a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any questions on either item? I, Here, it, uh, let me ask a question. Yes, Commissioner. Uh, because Davis. we're looking at for the special call meeting. Is the I'm looking at. Well, I'm, that's the consent. I'll, I'll ask the, my question after that. I'm sorry. Any other questions? Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed. It's unanimous. Next, we're going to our agenda items, uh, public hearing for consideration of abandonment and six partials of right of way along Gilbert Road. Mr. Reed. Uh, good afternoon, um, Chairman, Vice Chair. There's a presentation. Um, so uh, the public hearing is to consider abandonment of uh, six um, parts. No, not that one. Yeah, that one. All right. Uh, six small parcels of right of way along uh, Gilbert Road. Um, and there is attached to the resolution legal descriptions. So to show where those are for item one along Gilbert Road. The, the part that's shaded is the um, portion, and that's the legal description for item two that's on the, uh, um, in your attachment. That part that's shaded, the legal description is for that portion. For item three, that's uh, the shaded portion that we're talking about. Um, and item four, that's the shaded portion that we're talking about. Item five, that's the short shaded portion uh, that we're dealing with. And then, oops, item six, that small um, shaded portion. Uh, so <coughs> what the purpose of this is, is um, when uh, the development of the Victory Landing Center, Gilbert Road had an S, kind of curve so as part of the development of the center they straightened that and so the portions of what Gilbert Road was with that S we're taking those abandoning that and then swapping it for the right-of-way that is now part of the um, the more straightened uh, Gilbert Road is that on <coughs> Is that on both sides of Gilbert Road or just one side? It's on both, both sides. sides. So, uh, we're, so we can take all six at the same time mm -hmm. because it's just one thing. But it's different spots as the road was straightened. They have a spot here, a spot there, a spot here, a spot there. And then ultimately um, we hope to be able to close uh, on that with that transfer that the board, um, the structure that the board approved back in I say it was 22, I think it was, okay. July of 22. All right, so, okay. Go ahead. Just from a legal standpoint, what's the difference between abandon and granting the easement versus? So the abandonment, because it's a public, because it's a public right of way, um, the state law says that there's a process you have to go through to advertise it twice, um, abandon it, and 
then our state, our uh, local ordinance gives the right for the nearby um, property owners to negotiate the terms of that. And so the property owner at issue <laughs> now has agreed to what the cost of this is. And so part of the closing will be their purchase of these abandoned uh, strips of right of way. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, I know our agenda says uh, public hearing first, but we had to do the resolution so the community would know what we're speaking on as we hold our public hearing. So at this time, we're going to have a public hearing for this resolution. Is there anyone here who would like to speak in favor of? Or anybody like to have a word one way yes, or the sir. other? How about yes, that? Sir. Come forward, uh, Mr. Garber. Mickey Garber, Unincorporated Rex, Georgia, uh, Chairman, members of the board, as council has described what abandoning has meant, uh, that this is a process to go through that any adjoining landowner can possibly purchase the pri uh, property and put it back into taxable land, not just something abandoned. And yes, I am in favor of this resolution for abandonment, as I understand it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anybody else like to speak? Anybody else? <clears throat> All right. So once you conclude the public hearing, then I'll move on to item two. OK. Um, public hearing has been concluded all right so uh, item two is resolution 2024-55 which is a resolution authorizing clayton county to abandon approximately 1.151 acres of right of way along gilbert road to authorize the chairman to execute any documents relating thereto and to otherwise perform all acts necessary to accomplish the intent of this resolution to authorize the chief financial officer to amend the budget to reflect an appropriate revenue source and expenses be, as may be required to provide an effective date of this resolution and for other purposes. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Any questions? Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It's unanimous. All right, is there a need for, oh, we're going to public comment. All right. Madam Clerk, if you read the uh, disclaimer. We will now hear public comments. Citizens will be given a two minute maximum time limit to speak before the Board of Commissioners. Please note that all public comments must be limited to matters on the agenda or over matters which the governing body has jurisdiction. Speakers must maintain decorous demeanor and refrain from personal attacks upon board members, shouting and using obscene language. Following 20 minutes of hearing from the public, the Board of Commissioners will allow the remainder of citizens who have signed up to be heard at the next Tuesday business meeting. First one up is Kenneth Jackson. <coughs> Please state your name for name for me, sir. Yes, sir. County of Residence. <coughs> My name is Kenneth Jackson. Before I start, before I tell this crazy story, let me tell you a little bit about myself just so that you know that I'm not crazy. I moved here 20 years ago from California. I've served in the United States Navy. I graduated with a degree in engineering from San Jose State. I have three successful children. One graduated from Bethune-Cookman. The other one, with the, with the help of Congressman Scott, got a full scholarship to a Chinese university. <clears throat> and the third one works for the US Postal Service. I've served as the president of the United States of, of the Chamber of Commerce, been on the airport commission, and I presently operate a business in Lake City, Georgia, and I have for the last 15 years. It's called Public Force. 
We own the property and we're in the process of building a 20,000 square foot facility in that area. I am widowed. Now I'd like to go into the story. Two weeks ago, I tried to inform the ethics board that one of their members um, lived outside the county. <clears throat> When I, came to the, when I came to the board meeting, I was stopped at the door, and um, when I went inside, I presented the information. The person, the board member at hand, s alerted security. I got a call from Officer Stark on a Monday night asking me what the status of the situation was. I explained to him that Ms. Jones lived outside the county, that she had a civil suit of $50,000, and that and that there was a civil investigation. I provided all the documentation to Lieutenant Stark. Lieutenant Stark then took that information to the Levon office over at the Clayton County Sheriff's Office. This was on a Monday night. On Thursday, 8 o'clock in the evening time, I get a knock at the door. Not a knock at the door, a at the door. I opened up the window. I'm there sorry, sir, but your time is up. You only get two minutes. Okay. Your time is up. Thank you. 20 police officers showed up. As they showed up, they dragged me out. And Barbie, see, see them. Barbie, Barbara, Barbara, Barbara see them. Good evening. I actually signed up, but I didn't know what I was signing up for. So my name is Barbie C. I'm new to the community. Um, I do want more information on business because I have a business and I want to open a business in this community. So just looking for more information. So that's why I was here, just to learn about what we do in our meetings. Okay, great. Now we appreciate your thing about bringing a business here. Yes, Thank absolutely. You, Thank you. Yes. Also, if you would please visit the county website. There's a section on there for business owners. Okay. Well, you'll have an opportunity under central services to see the workshops that they have coming up to allow nice. more people within the community to do business within the county. We push that out all the time. Okay. So perfect. please visit that. Thank you. Thank you. And actually, there's Miss Miss Rogers. Can you raise your hand to tell her what our next uh, <coughs> one business with the county Rogers. is, which I think is okay. this month. Perfect. Yeah, so get with thank her, you. and, okay, and you can you. also get with Community uh, Development, Mr. Patrick and Jiggy. Okay, they also and zoning give and you stuff like that. What you need in terms of business license and so forth. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Mickey Garber. Mr. Chairman, I respectfully yield the floor to the next legitimate speaker. Thank you, sir. Uh, that ends public comment. Mr. Reeves, is there a need for an executive session? I dare not uh, thank you, do sir. that today, thank and you. so no. All right, well, that can, uh, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed? It is unanimous.